Hi 3C, hope you've had a lovely weekend. So we're now entering into week seven. So again, please reflect on what you've been learning each week to make sure that you are not knowing it just on that week, but you will re remember it for future weeks. The main part of English this week is the writing process. So as you can see here, there's a poster look. So it goes pre-writing, which is the drafting phase. Then you start your writing. Then you revise it. Then you rewrite it again. Then you proof read it. And then you publish it to the best neat copy. So again, it's been split up in today's for you. So the first thing you need to do is choose one of your pieces of instructional writing, whether it is how to make hot chocolate, how to make a sandwich, how clouds are made. You should all by now have one piece of instructional writing which you've completed. So the first thing you need to do is ask someone in your home to give you two pieces of feedback about what you've done. What's up mga gi up up Welcome back again sa aking YouTube channel So guys, bag kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel At click nyo na rin ang notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga video So napapansin nyo guys yung past mga ilang weeks Medyo hindi tayo active sa face uh, sa ating channel kasi guys sobrang busy at alam naman natin lahat na may kumakalat ngayon sa buong mundo hindi na natin i mention guys kasi medyo uh, si YouTube is ano siya parang ano siya anong tawag dito yung Aww. basta hindi ko ma-explain parang hindi siya hindi siya okay i ano si I, ano sa YouTube. Kasi kumakalat naman to sa buong mundo ngayon. Uh, nasa, pina, nasa Pinas na. So, alam na natin kung ano yan. At saka, uh, itong video na to guys, gagawin ko to para ipakita ko lang sa inyo or share ko sa inyo kung paano ginawa ng mga teacher na sa lugar kung saan nandito ko. Paano ginawa ng teacher kahit suspendido yung klase nila or pasok nila nagawa pa rin nagawa pa rin nilang ituloy-tuloy yung kanilang lesson. So uh, kahit yung mga bata hindi na hindi nakapasok na sa bahay lang, yung mga teacher is tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung lesson nila this week. This week hanggang hanggang magbukas yung klase guys. So alam ko guys, nalaman ko to siya kasi ako ang nakatanggap tanan na naka-receive lahat ako ang nakareceive sa update na, na pinasa ng mga teacher kung anong gawin o anong lesson this week kasi sa akin nakatuka sa akin, kumbaga sa akin binigay ni Amo yung ganyang trabaho so isishare ko lang sa inyo guys pero hindi ko masabi na magawa to sa Pinas kasi alam naman natin sa Pinas hindi ano hindi, hindi lahat is my internet connection yon Lalo na sa mga bundok or liblib na lugar, walang internet connection at isa pa yung mga bata, walang mga gadget. So, hindi ko siya ma-confer guys sa, sa Pinas kasi yun nga, mahirap tayo. Hindi lahat mayroong mga gadget. So, pero dito, yung klase nila guys, kahit seven, pang 7 seven weeks na guys, suspendido yung klase nila. Yung klase nila every week, kung anong dapat ikaklas, uh, yung ililison sa school, nagawa nila dito, kahit nandito lang, uh, na, kahit suspended yung, yung, bat, uh, yung klase nila, yung pasok nila. So, paano ginawa sa mga teacher yun na continue yung lesson nila kahit hindi po mapasok yung mga bata? So, ang unang ginawa ng mga teacher guys is, uh, every Monday, nagpapa, nag, nagsisend ng Uh, mga uh, lesson uh, lesson hang, uh, lahat ng mga subject guys sinisend kung anong dapat gawin this week D1 hanggang D5 so makikita nyo yan guys kung paano ina-arrange ng mga teacher kasi parang 
i-insert ko dito sa bandang huli yung paano binigay ng mga teacher. At pagkatapos nila masin yung mga picture guys na dapat gawin o dapat nating sundin, uh, nagsisin sila ng explanation video kung paano gawin yun. Yes, yan ang number 2. So, number 3 guys is nag-online, uh, nag-live online teaching yung mga teacher. Nag-live online teaching yung mga teacher dito guys twice a week. So, every Thursday and every Friday. So, doon, doon na, mag-ano na yun sila, uh, kung anong katanungan yung mga teacher, uh, yung mga bata, kung anong, meron, meron kasi silang uh, web uh, apps guys na kung saan, doon mag-online, mag mag-live mag online, mag online teaching yung mga, uh, yung mga teacher. So, meron nandun yung mga estudyante lahat. At saka, meron din silang sariling apps guys kung saan, Doon nag update talaga ang mga teacher sa mga bata. Asa ah, update sa school, kung anong ano sa school, uh, kung ano ang problema sa bata mo, kung anong kailangan sa school. So doon nag update ang teacher. Meron silang sariling app so hindi siguro sa Pinas, kasi ang nauso naman sa Pinas is Facebook. So siguro kung kung sana meron lahat mga estudyante or mga estudyante lahat, merong internet, siguro magawa din to ng mga teacher doon na i-continue ba yung lahat yung lesson na hindi, na dapat lesson this week. Makontinue siya guys through social media app. Sig pero hindi ko masasabi kung magawa kasi yun nga, walang internet yung, walang internet connection yung iba, at saka iba wala ding mga, ano, wala ding mga gadgets. So, hindi ito magawa kasi ang ginawa sa mga teacher dito is through, ano talaga, through internet. So, yun guys, ipakita ko sa inyo kung paano ginawa ng mga teacher para naman uh, magka-idea kayo kung kahit 7 weeks na sila guys na suspended yung klase nila dito. Kasi alam naman natin lahat guys kung anong rason kung bakit suspendido yung mga klase. So, yun din ang isang rason na hindi ako hindi ako up, up, uh, hindi ako palagi nag-upload sa aking channel kasi yun nga uh, busy so ngayon naka naka ano kaya nakahanap ko ng lugar or nakahanap ko ng time na maka-film ng ganito kasi wala sila dito guys at mainit na kasi sa labas ayun lumabas sila sila lahat at hindi ako sumama kasi pag sumama tayo guys hindi tayo makagawa ng magandang video. So, makabideo naman tayo pero hindi ganito na mag face to face. So, iniisip ko na ta talaga to siya guys na gagawan ko to siya ng video. Paano kinocontinue yung mga teacher nila yung class, yung dapat i-lesson nila this week. So, makikita nyo guys kung paano kasi i-ano ko siya i-insert ko dito sa bandang huli. So, keep on watching guys. Sana nasa ano kayo ngayon lahat dyan nasa Pinas, nasa safe kayo at ang ano guys ang masasabi ko lang guys sundin lang natin yung government para hindi tayo para hindi masyadong para hindi na lumala pa masyado yung ano natin yung sitwasyon natin diyan sa Pinas kay kasi dyan, ganito din ang ginawa namin dito guys nag ano lang kami kung ano sinasabi ng government dito sinusunod namin naka quarantine din kami guys nang hindi kami pwedeng lumabas na one month so Yun guys, sundin lang natin para walang problema at hindi na masyad, hindi na lumala yung, ano, yung problema na yan. Kasi dito guys, ngayon as of now guys, nagbalik na dati, pero hindi pa total, hindi pa 100% na balik as in. Kasi hindi pa bumalik yung mga estudyante sa school, siguro mga next month or, ah, oh, siguro mga this, ano, this week, or oh, next week siguro, or April, first week of April, balik na siguro sila sa, na sa school nila kasi ano guys kasi yung school nila until ano nila an, yung summer vacation nila is uh, ano May so di ba sa atin is uh, summer aw oh, hindi yung klase nila to guys until June aw oh, May so June July is ano nila summer vacation yung sa atin dyan di ba yung June is balik skwela na so sa kanila dito is uh, June is 
start ng summer vacation nila. So, meron pa silang pag, balik, pag makabalik na sila ng pasok sa April, April, May, meron pa silang 2 months para i-continue yung klase nila. So, yun guys, sana panoorin nyo kung paano ang ginawa ng mga teacher dito kasi insert ko yung video. Siguro yung ano na, siguro yung uh, explanation ng video. So, ayan guys, sana panoorin nyo at thank you for watching. So, let's go, panoorin nyo guys. Hi 3C, hope you've had a lovely weekend. So we're now entering into week seven. So again, please reflect on what you've been learning each week to make sure that you are not knowing it just on that week, but you will re remember it for future weeks. The main part of English this week is the writing process. So as you can see here, there's a poster look. So it goes pre-writing, which is the drafting phase, then you start your writing, then you revise it, then you rewrite it again, then you proof read it, and then you publish it to the best neat copy. So again, it's been split up in today's for you. So the first thing you need to do is choose one of your pieces of instructional writing, whether it is how to make hot chocolate, how to make a sandwich, how clouds are made. You should all by now have one piece of instructional writing which you've completed. So the first thing you need to do is ask someone in your home to give you two pieces of feedback about what you've done. Then read through it yourself and think about what do you think you could change. And then the third task send it to me and I will give you more feedback. That's if I haven't done so already. If I've already given you feedback, then you don't need to do task three, you just need to do task one and task two. Again, please check back to the checklist. We use these many, many times in the classroom and this is what keeps us focused on what all of the features are for whatever piece of writing we are doing. So go through each one and think, have I added all of these into my writing? Okay, the next day, once you have looked through all of your feedback from day one, you then need to think, right, I need to make adjustments, I need to change my instructions to make them even better. Still going back and check in the checklist. Then we get to the third day. Now you need to proofread. Read over it again. Does it make sense? Is the punctuation okay? Is the grammar okay? How's your spelling? Could you use an online dictionary and check some of your spelling as well? Then when you get to day four, this is where you will use all of your feedback from yourself, from me, from your parents, from my brother or sister, thinking about the checklist, and then you will write your final copy. Okay, you will either write in your most beautiful handwriting on some nice paper, or if you want to do it on the computer, you can either type it on Word, or you can make a PowerPoint, which was like the hot chocolate one, or think about the text which I shared with you in the live teaching, and that was a typed one. So once you've done that, it's really important because what I want to do, I then want us to share them with each other so we can get peer feedback. I want to share them and send them out on Seesaw so we can look at each other's work. So that's what I really want. So by Friday, I want a beautiful piece of instructional writing, either written extremely neatly on paper or on the computer, either Word or PowerPoint. So for maths this week, there isn't a lot because again, I will go over the maths task with you on the live teaching on Tuesday. And we also have here, look, calculating the area of triangles. I will also send a video about how to work out the area of triangles as it is slightly different to when we work out the area of a square or a rectangle. IPC. There's no change this week in the tasks for IPC because a lot of work was done with the, um, 
the articles and then being translated as well. So if you haven't done the IPC from last week, it's really important that you look at it again. And if you have done it, have you answered in enough detail? Okay, I'll see many of you on Tuesday for our live teaching. Hope you're well.